Hey there, this is Chris Sev from Better Dev here. We have a Better Dev Discord server. And in that server, we have a help channel. And we have somebody in that channel that asked about building out a card like this in Tailwind. So I thought, you know what? Let's do it in a video. And if you haven't already, please join the Discord. There's a lot of great people in there. We're just chatting all day about Tailwind, about building stuff, about coding. So definitely hop in there. I'll put a link down below. So here we have a brand new Tailwind code pen. I'm gonna open up CSS, go here, add Tailwind, like we usually do for these demos. And I'm gonna save and close. And now I'm gonna hide both of these and let's get started. So I am going to say minimum height is screen for these demos. Let's go for background is maybe a black. Let's go for flex item center and justify center. Perfect. So we are going to have our card here. Well, let's say card goes here. I'm going to say div, div. And let's go look at the contents of this card so we can write out the HTML first and then we'll style after. So here we have this line, which I think we can do with a border, but actually not a border because it's not the full length of the 95%. So I'm just going to do a blank div here. So I'm going to say, yellow line and that's going to be div right there so that's our yellow line right there let's go back here we're going to have 95 percent, and i'll just do that in a div as well so we'll say uh percentage right here and i'll say div 95 percent. okay so that's good for those two things let's go look at what else is here page speed insights score Delight your users. I'm not going to remember all that. So let's go ahead and do a P tag and say description right here. And I'm going to do a P tag. You could use a div as well. I don't think it really matters for this. So let's say, let's go grab that. And I am going to say page speed insight score. Delight your users. Okay. Page speed, this is a capital S, <laughs> insights. Score, delight your users. Uh, I don't think we need too much more. And improve your SERP positioning with Vizuit. And improve your SERP positioning. Okay. So we have yellow line percentage description. I think there was one more thing. I'll learn more button right here. So this is going to be an A tag. And we're going to say learn more. And I'm going to put this a tag here, a right here, hashtag as our placeholder and say, learn more. Okay. So everything here isn't really going to show because it's black text on a black background. So let's go ahead and give this card a class is background gray at maybe 800 because it's not that black background. And let's go for text is gray at 50. Okay. So that looks good there. There we go. So to start us off, let's make sure that we can get this background, this yellow background right here, because that's probably the most difficult of this entire thing. So we're gonna say of all of this, we're going to add a new div and you might be wondering, okay, should I do that with a box shadow? Well, the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna do a brand new div right here and say yellow background. And we're going to position this absolutely. So we're going to say class is absolute. And we're going to say right is 10. But that's going to be right is negative 10. And left is, or sorry, bottom would be bottom 10. So basically what we're doing to see it, we'll do a background yellow at 400. And we'll say relative here because we are positioning absolutely inside of this relative card. And nothing is going to show just yet because we don't have a height or a width on it. So let's try height is full and width is full. There we go. So basically, it's going to show right over there. And it's behind, well, it's not behind yet, but it needs to be behind the contents of this card. So I think right 10 and bottom 10 is a little too much. Let's bump that down to five, maybe half of what it was. Okay. And then for this one and the main card itself, let's go rounded large. 
maybe even extra large. Okay, so that's that right there. And then while we're here, let's make sure that this isn't like the largest card in the world. So I'm gonna say width is maybe 48. Cool, so maybe a little bit higher. I think 64 is the number. Perfect. Okay, so to do the yellow background and push it to the back, it's absolutely positioned. You may think, let's use Z index. Another thing we can do is wrap everything else, the contents of it in a div right here and right here, we'll close that div. And all we have to do is here on this contents div, we're gonna say relative. And that is going to push that above the other thing right there. But the thing is here is the text is above the yellow, but the black is not above the yellow. So the background is on the parent. We don't want the background on the parent, we want it on this div that is positioned above the yellow. So we're gonna take this background gray and this text gray right here and this rounded XL and move it all the way to this right here. So essentially what we've done is we have styled the black card, we have styled the yellow, and now we are placing them one here absolutely, and then here is a relative div that's gonna sit on top of that. Okay, and then from there we can add a little bit of padding, so let's go padding is maybe eight. There we go, that looks good. Our yellow line, let's start with our yellow line class, Let's go for height is three maybe, width is maybe six or seven. Background is yellow at 400. And the width is not large enough, so let's go for 20, I think. Okay, a little bit better. Height is two. I think that three is a little bit too much. Perfect, okay. So the other thing here is that we can put a margin and a margin and a margin to get some spacing in between all of these. But what I can do here is on the parent right here, say space Y is eight. And that will put spacing in between all of the children elements right here. It didn't really work here. Let's do a class as block. There we go. So now this block level element gets some spacing, all of these get spacing, and now we can start styling all of these individually. And maybe we drop that space Y eight to seven, because I think that's a little bit too much. Perfect. So let's go for the 95%. Let's go for class is text, maybe five XL. Font is extra bold. And let's go for text is white. We really want this 95% to pop. Cool. Let's go back and look at our card here. We have this is, notice it's not white or like really, really white. It's kind of an gray right there. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say class is text large. Text is gray at maybe 400. Okay, so that is looking good. Maybe the text is a little bit too large. That's okay. Let's do that then. But we do want a little bit of spacing there. So let's do leading is snug for our line height. Okay, a little bit better there. And then for our learn more, we have class block. Let's do text is yellow at 400. Let's do font is bold. And let's give it a little bit of letter spacing. Tracking is wider. Maybe that's too wide. Yeah, that's a little too wide. So let's do tracking wide. Cool. And then if we really wanted to add that arrow in, we would go to heroicons.com. And I have a video on hero icons if you wanna check that out. And let's go for arrow. And we want this narrow right one. So I'm just gonna hit copy SVG here, go back to my code pen and paste that in right here. A little hard to read. So let's space these out a little more. Oh, right there, cool. So now we give this SVG a class is equal to width is maybe four, height is four, and margin left is three. Okay, so that is showing there for some reason on the side. So I'm gonna wrap this in a span, wrap this in a span, and then put a flex box on the parent so that they sit side by side. Cool, and then let's do margin left is maybe one. Two, I think is gonna be good. All right, so that is gonna wrap it up for this uh, card that we just created based off of this design, thanks to 
Omi in our Discord channel. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you did like it, please join us in Discord. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you being here and watching these Tailwind videos. And I will see you in the next one.